African drums are talking. The slow, rhythmic throb beats its message over jungle and swamp, through forest, across waterless belt, with village after village taking up the beat to bring you a story of that land where anything can happen. Africa. Professor Anton Edwards and his party, while searching in Africa for a lost people, have followed the directions of a talking, mummified head that speaks a language the professor and another man have been studying for many years. But the head guided them into difficulties, and the professor became a little suspicious. The party descends into a huge volcanic crater and finds a medieval people who are ruled in cruelty by the priests. The professor and Jack have killed two sacred apes, and the priests vow to put the party to death. The queen of this people begs the professor to wrest her country from the power of these cruel rulers, and when the party is called to trial, Professor Edwards kills the high priest, thereby bringing about a state of civil war between those loyal to the queen and the forces of the priests. In the queen's palace, the professor and his party await the arrival of the queen to discuss plans. But, Father, why does the Queen insist that you command her forces? There is a legend in her family, my dear, which she thinks amounts to a prophecy. That the country will never know happiness until a stranger shall put an end to the power of the priests. You, uh, you wouldn't want me to back out, dear, would you? Oh, of course not, Father. But I wish you could direct the battle from a distance. How are you going to line the force up, sir? I wish I knew the lay of the country. I'd be better able to form an opinion. Perhaps they have a map. Probably a crude affair if they have one at all. Well, the Queen said we'd have 30,000 men to throw into the field. And the priests have 40,000. And they're all fanatics. Well, if we can choose the right spot to meet them, we might offset that. Juana, great lady, she comes. The Queen, Father. Oh, all right. Nguru, lady come for war, sorry. I, Buana. Nguru smell em plenty blood. Oh, shut up, you black heathen, and guard that door. Ay, Buana. Moga, oh, queen. Don't be afraid of him, your majesty. My black servant has a fierce aspect, oh, great man. Ay, madam. Yet is his heart as true as his looks be fierce. He's a great fighter. Great Scott. What's that outside the door? Nguru, uh, open and see what he's doing. Buana. Man, he come. Let go his neck. You're choking him. Man, I hear. This he man come. hath a message for me, but thy guard is true to his trust. Drop him, Nguru. Aye, Buana. If thou hast brought the map, lay it open upon and depart. Map? Good. That's what I wanted. Nguru, be more gentle next time. Aye, Buana. This map been compounded for thy benefit. See, here lie the hills in which the priests have their forces. That looks about 30 miles from here. If this represents the city, sir. Thy finger lieth upon the city. Then that's right. What does this line signify? There lies the river. It is but a stream at this season. And this? A forest of low trees. Here lie rocks to the right. That is all, old lady. Thy forces shall advance to this point before the river and await my coming. Should the enemy attack, it is the most likely place to meet him. Thou art a wise man. For should they advance to the city, their greater number shall prevail. Here the land narroweth. And here shalt thou meet those forces and drive them before thee till the spirits of my ancestors shall rejoice. Return victorious, O great stranger. Or upon the shields of the vanquished, farewell. Well, I don't like that part about returning on the shields of the vanquished. Mm. Exactly what did she mean, Father? It's evidently a custom, my dear. I think I know. It'll mean that you're wounded or... Exactly. Oh. Now forget about it. Don't worry, Lorna. This isn't the first war in which your father set a command. Oh, I know, but this isn't the same. A good, clean bullet hole is one thing, but those great, huge swords... Oh! If you don't stop getting the horrors, young woman, I'll pack you right out of here. Now, we've work to do. Come on, Jack. Let's get at it. All right, sir. How many troops have we? 20,000 foot soldiers and 10,000 horse. Yeah. The infantry use spear and sword, eh? And they carry huge shields, sir. Fine. Now we've got to split them up and cover the neck of ground just this side of the river. 
That forest will protect our left flank and the rocks the right. Then they'll have to cross the river before meeting us. Yes. Now, in the center... Uh, mark this on the map, Jack. Yes? In the center, 10,000 spearmen will form in the main body, in squares. Flank them with 3,500 cavalry each side. How's that look? Looks useful, sir. But that won't fill out the ground. I know. Split 7,500 infantry, and that makes 3,750 on each wing, and a little to the front. That's it. I'll support them with 700 cavalry each. How about main supports? The remainder of the infantry and cavalry in rear of main body. That makes about 2,500 spears and 1,500 horse, roughly. That'll do. We'll have to leave the rest to the separate commanders. Which force will you take, sir? The cavalry on the right center. You'll be with me. And Guru will have the time of his bloodthirsty old life. Why? How's that, sir? He's going to command the main body of foot soldiers. He can show them what he wants by gestures. Come on. Let's go. Oh, Father, I... I don't want to be foolish, but... There, but... there, child. I know your feelings, but your old father has come out of worse scraps than this one. Come on. Let's see you smile, eh? It isn't the fighting I'm afraid of. It's the awful waiting I'll have to do. You'll be with the queen all the time, my dear. And she'll be just as anxious as you are, so you can hang on to each other's necks. I can't see the queen doing that for anybody, can you? No, Jack, I can't. She's the bravest woman I've ever seen. Sorry, I got a bit silly. The lady's waiting for you, Lorna. You're to go straight to her rooms. Bye, dear. See you tonight. Bye, Dad. Bring home the bacon. That's the girl. You know, Lorna, you're a... You're... Well, I've told you so many times you ought to know by now. Bye, sweetheart. Bye, darling. is marvelous, Jack. The spot made for us. I wonder where they'll start the attack. That's a formidable group facing our right wing. But they'll have to cross the river and tire themselves first. Wana, this day, Nguro, happy. Aye, old warrior. This day, the snake woman shall kiss her fill. <laughs> Shake hands. Huh. Now, catch him, Kazi. Aye, Buana. Good fight this day. I go. Fast. Lord, but I hope nothing happens to him, Jack. I'm very fond of him. He won't let up until they're running or he's dead. I've heard that same sort of thing said about you, sir. Yeah. Well, I've gotten a lot of wisdom since then, young man. But it certainly is great to feel a good horse between my knees again. I wonder if a charge holds the same thrill for me as it used to. Oh, look. There's a line of cavalry breaking loose from their main body. They're attacking, sir. No, not yet. That's a skirmish line to draw us out. Hold! Hold! They want to move us, Jack. That's one thing we must avoid. See? They're going back across the river. There's a movement on the left. More cavalry, sir. Use your glasses. Yeah, you've got a sharp eye, Jack. Where's that trumpeter? Here he is. Hmm. Sound your trumpet. They've broken away. About 4,000 of them. Coming straight for the river, too. Well, as they hit the water, what's that left center cavalry of ours? There they go. In wedge formation, sir, about three quarters of them. Look, they're serving out in a wave. There's something wrong. They're pulling out. No, no, watch. Back they come, see? The tip of the wedge will catch them dead in the middle of that line. Look! They've hit him. They've gone through and split the force in two. Yeah, that'll give them something to think about. The wedge is curling around. Look, they're turning. Flying across the river again in disorganized party. Come on there. Take hold of horse. Our right wing's going to be attacked. Can't we fall on them? Now they're crossing the river. It's a huge force, sir. No. Let them keep their squares. Waves of horse will hold them up. Hold her there. Away, away. There they go. That won't stop them, sir. They're too many. And eh, never mind. They'll keep them busy for a while. Here comes the main body. We've got to meet him, Jack. You see that huge fellow leading him? Yes, sir. It's one of the priests. Take him off. It'll make him wonder. Ah, good shooting, boy. Keep picking the leaders off as they come up. I'll take the heart out of them. Look at him go to in the center. Ah, he's a fighting fool. Can't we get him, sir? The center's getting away. Not yet. Our time's coming. That's for the reserve, sir. Yes. 
Are you ready for a charge, Jack? Yes, sir. All ready to go. Use your revolver, and when it's empty, swing that sword like blazes. Here we go. Hola! Hola! Away! Away! You all right, Jack? Yes, sir. That was great. They run. Run. It's turned them back yet. That judge did it, Jack. They're on the run. I go, Buana. Apana. Goro, you stay here. Buana, fight no finish. Yes, it has. Don't you told. Oh. You're covered with blood now. What more do you want? There's a man coming up, sir. He seems badly wounded. Yeah. That's the fellow we saved from the apes. What does he want? Oh, Lord. Lord, return to thy woman. Eh? The queen. The queen is to be murdered at sundown. Treachery. In the palace. Where did you learn this? Speak. From a dying man. It hath been planned, and even now they await the setting sun. Oh. Why? He's dead, sir. Yeah. Lorna. What can we do? The sun will set inside an hour. If we ride like blue blazes, we might get there in time. Come on, Ungoro. We've got another battle to fight. <laughs> 